brother. Uh -huh. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. Uh, today we're going to make something new again. <laughs> Y'all know me. Uh, Ro and I talk all the time and try to come up with different recipes, low carb recipes, low sugar, no sugar, um, gluten free, gluten free, try to do it always, always gluten free, uh, because I need to be gluten free and I have so many out there of you that need to be gluten free. And for all of y'all that have complained about my knife not being sharp, my daughter asked me, she said, mom, what do you want for Mother's Day? I said, I want a good knife. So I went online and I picked it out. And this is the one I picked out, y'all. It is sharp. It's wonderful. You can use it as a knife. You can use it as a cleaver. It just has so many purposes and it is sharp. I love, I love it. I love it. Uh, probably, I'm using it today just to show y'all, but I will probably... It's got, it has a wooden handle on it. I will probably use it as a cleaver, things like that, uh, and big pieces of meat, but it is so nice. Now, I've got chicken breast here, and I'm cutting them in just little bite-sized pieces. Oh, I didn't tell you what we're doing. We're doing sun-dried tomato pasta with garlic, peppers, onions, and we're using my Hearts of Palm. Today we're using linguine. This is four carbs per serving. There are three servings in this bag. Now, it's already cooked. I have it in my skillet back here. And there's plenty here for three servings, believe me. Uh, we don't eat it plain like this. I always put garlic, onions, peppers, just salt, pepper, different things with it. Uh, I tried it plain and it's bland. So I always uh, put, put other things in mine. But today, now you can use regular pasta. Here, if, if you're not gluten free or you're not watching your carbs, use reg, you can use regular pasta. You can use soybean pasta, you can use gluten free pasta. But you really, if you're using hearts of pot, you have to season it before yeah, you start you cooking do. with it uh, until it tastes good to you or it'll be flat to you. You have to season it. That's right. So that's what we're using this morning because I'm trying to make this as low carb as I can. So uh, it's going to have chicken, peppers, onions, but predominantly sun-dried to not predominantly but a lot of sun-dried tomatoes roy and i love sun-dried tomatoes now you can use this as a side dish this morning i'm putting a chicken breast in mine because we're going to use it as a full meal with a salad but you can uh leave out the meat just do the peppers onions sun-dried tomatoes i'm gonna put basil in mine uh and it'll be a side dish just ever how you want to do yours so I'm going to keep cutting up my chicken, and uh, then we'll come back, and I'll show you how I'm going to do the rest of it. All right, Grandmama. Okay, in my skillet back here, I've got about uh, three tablespoons of uh, oil. You can use any kind of oil you want, olive oil, corn oil, canola oil, whatever, lard, whatever you want uh, to put your chicken in. And I'm just going to uh, cook this until it's brown. I want it to have a little crust on it, kind of. So I'm going to turn it up like on high. And in this, I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt. Because if y'all know me, I season every element of my dish. Or I try to, if I can. Four teaspoons of pepper. Now I'm cooking this on high heat. And somebody said something about a non-stick skillet. This skillet is non-stick, but it doesn't have a coating on it. It's all the way through. So, um, 
So if any of y'all out there are worried about that, don't. Because this is, it can take the heat, I can assure you. All right. Now this is one half tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let that cook. Now, I've got a uh, part of an onion here. I'm measuring my onion for you. And I'm finely mincing this onion, real fine. And we're gonna do peppers. And Roller went out to the garden and got me some little green, we call them scallions. They're the little green part of the, the little spring onions. So we're gonna be using some of those in it just just to make it pretty got the tough piece right there all right and this should be about a half a cup i've got my half cup measuring cup here because i want to measure this i'll have my recipe in the description box uh for y'all and the description box is underneath the name of my dish. I describe my, my, what I'm cooking, and then there'll be a little word that says more. Click on that, and something else will drop down, and usually there's another more. Click on it. And that's where I try to put all of my recipes in the description box. I try to give y'all a recipe for everything that I do. Okay, now that's a little bit more than a half a cup, but that's all right. I may not use it all. And she's got a lot of people asking for a cookbook. Yes, and I do. she's in the planning stage of, we think, a hundred recipe yeah. cookbook for you. My first one, I think, will be a hundred recipes. To me, that's just a good size. And uh, so we're in the process of working on that. Now these are just little sweet peppers. Here you can use green bells if you like. Uh, but these are just the little mini uh, sweet peppers. So I just took the end off and I cut them in half. And then I just chop them about the same size as my onions. Because we're going to cook all these together. And I'm going to try to do about a half a cup of them, about the same amount that's in my uh, set of my onions. So, my chicken sounds like it's cooking really well behind me. I don't want to overcook it, but I do want to get it brown. Okay. I it on up the high because it's getting done, but I want it to caramelize. And I'm going to cook these onions and peppers in the uh, juice or in the pan where I cook my the chicken. So it'll get some of that good flavor on it. All right. Let's see how many of that is. If that's a half a cup. Not quite. So I got two more peppers out here. I'm going to do one more to make it a full half cup, a red one. I bet you can't see from my hands when you. So, okay. Uh -huh. So this is going to be a half cup of my sweet peppers. And if you didn't notice, her cutting board, plastic cutting board for the chicken was blue. Yeah. So she has changed and bleached the blue. I've and of course, about, this is a reddish orange one. I've got about six of these. So every time you see me use one, I take it up, put it in the sink or dishwasher and get out another one. So. Yeah, I have to wash numerous ones. <laughs> For Every anybody day. that notices that I use these masks. So. Alright, you want to come over here, honey?
See how that chicken is beginning to caramelize? Oh, yeah. All right, it's completely dry now. So I'm going to take it up. Now, this is too much chicken for the uh, my noodles for my heart to calm pasta, but I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put the rest of it in something else. I'll probably make, well, I know I will. I'll make the regular pasta for my son. Uh, he doesn't do the heart to calm, so. But I made enough so I could, be, so I could uh, make some for him. By the way, if you like thighs better than you do breasts, yes. it, just use thighs. I love the, the thigh much better than breasts. I, like, most of the time, I will use chicken thighs, but I have these, and so I said, well, I'll just use the breast today. All right. Yeah, all this out. Let's see. Okay. And turn my burner down. I want to turn it down to, like, medium, uh, medium high. Now, I'm adding my half cup of peppers. And I did not add all of those uh, onions. I'll use about half a cup. All right. I'm going to let these kind of caramelize. It'll take probably three or four minutes because I turned it down to medium low. I mean to low, medium low now. Uh, because I want some of the water, some of the juice to cook out of them and them to sit here and get transparent and kind of caramelize a little bit. So, uh, we'll be back. Are you introducing a secret ingredient? I am, y'all. Why my onions and peppers are cooking? Roy and I, and I'm going to measure these for you, love 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 sun-dried tomatoes we're going to do our own this summer i've got a dehydrator so what i'm going to do i'm going to dehydrate tomatoes and then i'm going to store them in olive oil now these are in olive oil and this is olive oil uh garlic uh rosemary extract uh one more thing i read it this morning uh, garlic spices, it says spices, but I guess you put whatever spices you want in yours. So I'm going to do about a half a cup of these. And uh, I'm going to use some of this olive oil to put over my hearts of palm pasta. All right, now I'm not going to wash my hands. They're oily, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these. In just little pieces like that because I don't want to put the whole tomato but I do want it to be pretty pretty good size because I love biting down on a piece of that tomato oh it's so mm. good mm. it just kicks your it does your taste buds, taste oh buds my goodness kicks your tongue right in the <laughs> right in the teeth it does we love them so all right, I'm gonna finish cutting these up, get my peppers and onions done, and then we're gonna get this show on the road. We're gonna get all this put together. Now this is one of my favorite things to see and smell. <laughs> is when she's got her onions and peppers and That's right. all the other stuff together. You're talking about pretty and, and delicious. See how caramelized that is. Mm. You want this element of flavor, believe mm. me, in your pasta. Oh, yeah. All right, and I just put a tablespoon of garlic. Now I'm putting a cup of chicken because Ro and I really don't want a whole lot of chicken in ours. All right, now. I'm putting my half a cup. Your sun-dried tomatoes are already cooked, so you just want to plump them up just a little bit. So you're putting the tomatoes in here, and you're going to put After. the oil off the tomatoes in your pasta. Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? I am. Hey. I am. Aren't I smart? <laughs> okay. You can step back, son. All right. All right. Now... Remember, I put salt, pepper, and a little garlic in my pasta. Oh, my. This is 
is hearts of palm. Now this is linguine. Alright. I need a little bit more oil in here. So this delicious olive oil off of my sun-dried tomatoes. Wow. I'm gonna use some of it because remember it's got spices in it. Mm. Mm. Now y'all, this is going to be a dish. I'm going to have to taste of it, make sure. I'm just, now, all I'm doing is heating my linguine, linguine through. I'm just getting it hot because everything is done in it. It's really a quick dish. If I wasn't standing here talking to y'all, I could have this done in 30 minutes. Now, you don't have to put that many stone dried tomatoes in yours if you don't want to. Roy and I just absolutely love them. And you can add whatever veggies you want. You can add um, celery. You can add carrots. Whatever you want to put in yours. And what is that, Grandmama? Okay, I just tasted of this because I wanted to make sure it was right. Now, if you know anything about regular pasta wheat, it has a little uh, sweetness to it because your your wheat does have sweet, uh, does have a little sugar in it. So I added a half a tablespoon of stevia to this just to give it that little sweetness that regular pasta does. It doesn't have enough salt. And I'm going to put a little bit more pepper. This is when you season it. I mean, you taste of it and you season it just the way you like it. So, uh, she tried the stevia for the first time yesterday yes. for some guests we had, mm -hmm. and I, it really made a big difference it to me. A, it made a big difference in the taste of this. Uh, all right, I'm double dipping because nobody but me were always going to eat this. Mm. That put it over the top, y'all. Oh, gracious. Mm. Uh, no, I'm not putting more salt. Okay. That's looking good, Grandmama. All right, y'all. I would forget my head if it wasn't attached to my shoulders. My mama used to say that all the time. And the older I get, the more I know exactly what she meant. I got my Parmesan cheese, y'all. Now, this is just to your taste. Okay. That was probably about three tablespoons of uh, Parmesan cheese. Put any kind of cheese on it that you want. Wow. Look at that. You talk about some goodness. Mmm. And some flavor. Oh, my goodness. You will not even know this is Hearts of Palm. Look at that. Mmm. I'm telling you. Delicious, delicious. I'm trying not to get this pan in y'all's view. And the Hearts of Palm stains it slightly doesn't it not the hearts of palm but the tomatoes uh and oil. the tomatoes and the oil yeah that i put in it's beautiful yeah. mm -hmm. isn't beautiful. that pretty mm. yes all right now this is what i'm gonna do to give it a burst of freshness and it does these are little cherry tomatoes it just gives it the sun-dried tomatoes oh my mm. love them but then, when you get a piece of this fresh tomato, don't cook your tomatoes in it now. Just use them as garnish. When you get some of the, one of the sun-dried tomatoes and a bite of that fresh tomato, it just explodes it in is, your mouth. It's really good. And I'm gonna tell you something else I'm gonna do. Roy went out to the garden and got some little green onions. Now you can use chives, you can use little green onions, whatever you want. This just dresses it up a little bit and gives it just one other little element of flavor. It's pretty. You can use parsley leaves, whatever you want. This is just what we have in the garden. Wow. And you don't want a whole bunch, you just want a few. All right, y'all. Mm, I'm eating another thing because ain't nobody but me and Roy going to eat this. Wow. I have put prep, put, <laughs> I have put fresh little grape tomatoes on this so you will have a burst 
Mmm. A freshness. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Well, how good is it? Oh, my. Y'all, I'm not even eating the chicken, and it is absolutely wonderful. And I cut up some little spring onions on it. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all can do parsley. You can do... Y'all, please, please, please make this. Even if you don't like hearts of palm, try it this way. You will love it. But don't Food you? Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. And this is healthy.